crystal thing, you know. Like yeah, sugar. Crystal in yeah. An object. You know, sometimes they call cocaine sugar, like similar, right? Hey everybody, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we're going to kind of be talking about attachment and, yeah, and how that. that affects kind of what we spoke about yesterday. But what are, what are we talking about when we're talking attachment? Yeah, so we're kind of jumping into a little segment on it, like attachment aversion again. And if we remember, vairagya was kind of the absence of attachment and aversion and something that we are always striving for through that uh, practice. <laughs> Uh, if you remember Yoga Sutra 1.12, Vyasa Vairagya Bhyamta Nirodha, it's a system, or attachment is kind of eliminated through practice. <laughs> and then, also guys, I just want to start out by having you recognize places where attachment and pain come in. Notice when you feel something that is painful, because that is something that is not supposed to be happening in a sense to you it's it's something that is worth avoiding but at the same time not something that you should preemptively be averse to because that's a narrowing of your awareness uh when the pain is too much you will just let it go so if you uh mm -hmm. <laughs> if you experience a lot of pain and you for some reason would like to continue going cults of suffering uh <laughs> Eventually what'll happen is it'll just become too much and you'll drop it like you know you you put your hand in a fire and eventually it's gonna burn and you're gonna pull it out but but uh, The same thing happens with pleasure as well eventually it becomes too much and can I uh, begin to almost seem painful So if you have too much pleasure at some point it does kind of switch to unbearable and a sort of pain and these are the moments, the extremes that you're looking to avoid by recognizing the pain and the pleasure as they enter into your life. So just taking the time to be sensitive to those feelings in your practice. Uh, are you ripping your hamstring a little too far because you really want to get the splits? Are you uh, maybe going through too many breathing exercises and drying out your body a little too much? Uh, these kinds of things, uh, practicing a sensitivity towards them is going to benefit your practice because you will be coming at each each day from that more equal footing. Remember vairagya being the dispassion, the awareness, the equilibrium that you need to kind of keep going. Uh, this is a great, great thing to actually reflect on in your guys' journal. So if you are sitting there trying to think about it, write it down at the same time. Why not? It's just as easy. And it will also give you kind of a memory of that when you go back to read your journal in the moments when you don't have maybe don't see where to progress next in your practice you'll see oh I could jump back to thinking about that pleasure and pain and how that factors into my practice so give it some thought and see where you come <laughs>